the most dangerous places in the world, according to the people who live there, part one. First, Brazil has an island with so many deadly snakes, human entry is nearly forbidden. Ilha da Quimada Grande, located about 25 miles off the coast of Brazil, is also known as Snake Island. It's fairly small, but is home to thousands of golden lancehead vipers. With somewhere between 2,000 and 4,000 venomous snakes, the island is off limits to humans. Humans abandoned the island during the early 20th century after the lighthouse became automated. And now the Brazilian Navy stops by once a year to do maintenance. Researchers and scientists need to get special permission to conduct research on Snake Island. The reptiles have few predators, but declining resources have caused the viper's population to decline. They're now listed as a critically endangered species. Number two, indigenous groups on India's North Sentinel Island fight to keep people out. North Sentinel Island, identified by a savvy Redditor as the most dangerous place in India, prohibits outsiders from visiting. Home to the native Sentinelese people, the island has remained uninfluenced by modernity, and there's little information about what life is like. What is known, however, is that the Sentinelese will violently defend their home and kill to do it. After the natives dispatched two fishermen in 2006, efforts by outsiders to find out what happened were met with arrows and stones, literally. In 2018, the death of Christian missionary John Allen Shaw led to calls to essentially leave the body and the Sentinelese alone. Stephen Corey, from Survival International, explained, The risk of a deadly epidemic of flu, measles, or other outside disease is very real and increases with every contact. Such efforts in similar cases in the past have ended with the Sentinelese attempting to defend their island by force. Number three, border cities in Mexico are fraught with peril. Assertions about Mexican border cities that all of them are quite violent can be supported by a 2020 report of the most dangerous cities in the world. At the top of the list is Tijuana, with 2649 homicides. Ciudad Juarez, the site of 1251 homicides, was number four. The dangers in Mexican border cities revolve around cartel activity, violent attacks, kidnapping, and murders associated with the drug trade impact the lives of residents, migrants, and tourists alike. As of July 2021, the danger had not declined, with Tijuana recording more than 1160 deaths. Jane Bonilla, governor of the Mexican state of Baja, California, confirmed that 99s of the murders are related to drug cartels and the drug trade. Number four, La Matanza in Argentina is so dangerous, one resident warns, don't even enter there. As part of the Greater Buenos Aires area in Argentina, La Matanza is considered a working class section of the city. Despite assertions that Argentina is very dangerous all the time, one redditor pointed out, the most dangerous place is La Matanza, Buenos Aires, don't even enter there. Once the site of a thriving industry infrastructure, La Matanza 
whose name translates as the slaughter, fell into widespread poverty and unemployment in 2002. According to resident Jose Limerez in 2007, at the height of the economic crisis, we almost had a civil war here as protesters blocked the streets and rioters, attacked stores and shops, slums, dirt roads, and piles of garbage characterize the area's misery villages where lacking public services accompany high crime rates. Number five, drowning is a major danger in Israel's Negev Desert. In Israel, the most dangerous place, according to a Redditor named Wiskos, is the Negev Desert. Despite its beauty and its name, the desert's rains have proven deadly many times over. Over in Israel, I would say the most dangerous place is the Negev Desert in winter. People think that since it's a desert it's cool in winter and a good place to hike since it has huge cliffs and crazy views. The problem is that the rains from the mountains around Jerusalem tend to flow down, creating insane water currents which flood every single ravine creating deadly floods with insane water pressure. A family went hiking once in the Negev in winter and their bodies were found kilometers down the tracks couple of years ago a summer camp group went for a hike and around 13 out of 15 affected teenagers died. The death is almost never from drowning alone, but rather from being smashed on rocks by an insane under pressure. In 2018, a group of 10 teenagers drowned on a school trip due to flash floods, and just one year earlier, another man fell to his death while rappelling down a cliff.